Hi, and welcome to the Draw Pro section on incline tool position. Incline tool position allows us to accurately angle our workpiece on the mill table at whatever angle that we care to. So let's go ahead and take a look at the mill now and figure out how to set that up and use that function. If we take a look at our workpiece here, you can see that I've angled this at approximately 20 degrees, but I'm not absolutely certain what angle it is. I just say approximately because that's how I've set it up. So let's go ahead and get an accurate measurement on that. The first thing that I want to do is simply bring my dial indicator over to the edge of my workpiece and touch it along the edge. And I'm going to move my table so that I zero out the dial indicator. So you can see I'm touching the workpiece here and my dial indicator is zeroed at the top of the dial indicator. So next we have to go to our display and we need to locate the incline tool position button. And that is on the lower right and it has a block that's canted or angled. So we'll go ahead and push that. And for today's demonstration, we're using the XY axis. So let's go ahead and arrow down till we see XY in the upper right window. We'll hit enter. It prompts us to enter an inclined angle. For today, we want 20 degrees, so I'll enter 20 degrees. We arrow down. And now we see on all three axes that it's completely zeroed out. So what we've established here in our workpiece is a 20 degree angle from this zero point. And what we're going to do is I'm going to run the table to the left, which will bring the dial indicator over to the right. And then every point that I touch off along this workpiece, if it is indeed at a 20 degree angle, it will indicate when it's zero on the display, it will also indicate zero on the dial indicator. Now, if I go to a different spot on the workpiece and I move the table such that zero is displayed in the y-axis and I have a different reading on my dial indicator, then that indicates that my workpiece is not exactly at a 20 degree angle. Now I'm going to go ahead and move the mill table to the left and what I want to do is take another reading towards the opposite end of the workpiece. It doesn't have to be absolutely at the end, but the farther distance that I travel, the more accurate it will be. So that is probably about right. And as I bring the dial indicator into position, my y-axis value is decreasing towards zero. And as I actually touch the workpiece, hopefully we're pretty close here, you'll see I'll simply move the table till I get a zero reading. And so now I've got a zero reading on my display and over to the workpiece, you can see that the indicator needles a little bit to the left. So let's go ahead and move the workpiece such that we zero out the dial indicator. Now, again, when I move this workpiece, I don't want to move the entire workpiece front fore and aft. What I want to do is I've zeroed off this, the left hand side over here. What I'd like to do hopefully is rotate, if you will, from that point that I, touched earlier and rotate the workpiece to bring this within a 20 degree line. So I'm going to hold this as best I can over here and hopefully just rotate the workpiece into position. Okay. Well now I've zeroed out the dial indicator. But what I need to do to make sure that this is on a true 20 degree line is to bring my dial indicator back and touch it off anywhere on the left side here and make sure that I didn't move the entire workpiece fore and aft, that I actually have that workpiece on a true 20 degree line. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back a bit to the other end of the workpiece and we'll zero out again on our display and see how far off I am. Okay, so there you have it. I got pretty lucky on that one. You can see that, again, I've traveled to the opposite end of the workpiece. My y-axis coordinate is zeroed out, 
and also on my dial indicator it's straight up and down at zero degrees so at this point and we had to do it you know had to move the workpiece a couple of times but that's what you have to do to get it exactly on a an angled line that you want well that concludes the linear tool position segment it's easy to use i've shown you how to do it and now you can do it too